Hi, and welcome back. I was on a short break, but I'm excited to be back with some new stuff. My PCG Forest video did even better than I expected, and the support has been amazing. A huge thank you to everyone who bought the asset, and to all of you following the channel. Your support means a lot. In the meantime, I worked on a new tool called Falling Leaves. This tool is free for everyone who purchased the PCG Forest, and is also available as a standalone tool on my Gumroad. In this video, I'll introduce you to this new tool and explain its features. So let's dive in. Download the project from my Gumroad page or go to the content folder and copy the tools folder and paste it into your own project. You don't need any additional plugins this time. Go to your content browser in Unreal Engine and then to your tools folder. You will now see a folder named Falling Leaves. Open this folder and you will see the BP underscore falling underscore leaves blueprint. Select the blueprint and drag it into your viewport. You will immediately see that it works. A number of leaves fall slowly downward. I zoom in a little to see it more clearly. Go to your outliner panel and select the blueprint. In the details panel below, several parameters now appear that we can start to adjust. You can adjust the size of the leaves, choose a variation between the minimum and maximum size to create random sizes for the leaves. Then choose the density of the leaves. Find the right amount that works. I will go with this. I see that my parameters have disappeared. So I select the blueprint again. Now I see my parameters reappear in the details panel. Okay, let's see what happens when we generate a lot of leaves. That's looking pretty cool. If you drag the blueprint upward in position, you can determine from what height you want them to be generated. Maybe this is a bit too many leaves, so I decrease the amount. Next is the rotation, which you can also adjust. Just like with the size, you can set a minimum and maximum value to create a random rotation. Feel free to tweak it to your liking. And you can indicate the wind speed in the x-axis, y-axis, or z-axis. Let's increase the x-axis. I think a storm is coming. Let's make some more wind. You can play with these settings the way you like it. For the z-axis, you can let the leaves go up or down. For the gravity, it's now on a standard mode. If you want like spooky weird floating leaves, you can change this amount and being creative. You can check or uncheck if you want the leaves to make a shadow in your environment. Next is that you can also insert your own leaf meshes. If you want leaves that have some kind of style in your project, you can insert them by dragging them into the input fields. For this tool, I have four pre-made leaves you can use. You can use up to six meshes for this tool. Be creative and use some other objects too if you like. You know, when it's windy I see all kinds of stuff floating around. Okay, let's go back to the scale location parameter, because our falling leaves do not take up much space yet. If you want your leaves to fill out the whole project, then increase the amount of your scale location. Beware if you size up the space, then you also have to increase the amount or density of the leaves to determine how much leaves are generated in your project. You can now adjust the parameters to tailor this tool to your specific project. I encourage you to be creative and try out different combinations to see what you can create. 
you can get the falling leaves tool right now on my Gumroad. The link is in the description. I'm also in the process of adding my assets to the fab market, along with update and details on some new tools I'm developing. I really hope you found this helpful. I love to hear your questions and reactions, so drop them in the comments section below. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.